Malice Television presents. Well, it's another day in paradise, like they would say in the carnival. So now, here we are with the obstacle. How do you say it? This uh, dock is backwards. Hazards, these poles, telephone poles. I expect me to be able to turn around here. So here we are. Saturday afternoon. Working on some school work assignments. Watching the people go by. Playing in bed. Waiting for the next episode. Talking about stereotypes and I'm not a typical truck driver. I started a record label in 2005 and Went to music school, studied electric bass and audio engineering and partial degree program my junior year in college. I'm uh, driving the truck to uh, make some extra money for my company to invest in. And uh, my dream is to have a carnival. Therefore, I need some trucks to pull some trailers, to pull some rides, get to the next show. I'm currently working on a degree from Full Sail University, entertainment business. I plan on starting a management company to go alongside my record label and entertainment company. Also attending Novus Law School online law degree, executive jurist doctorate degree. I want to know more about legal contracts, tort law, and civil procedure. I've been dealing with trademark infringement ever since I started the company. That's one thing that you don't realize when you start a company. Like you're like, okay, I got this brand. This brand is awesome. It's mine. No one has used it. In fact, I have superior rights dating back to all the way 1998. My superior rights go back in 2003, 2004, which I started my uh, email address. And started our social networking, uh, MySpace, and, you know, later on Facebook and YouTube and such. We started our social media website, a lifestyle society, clubmalice.com in 2009. And we're getting ready to launch version three, which has been a process. Uh, server went down in 2015 and crashed and we lost all the databases. They're supposed to be on a computer backed up, but I haven't been able to find them, so we just have to go for it. They say that every rose has its thorn. Every man has a story. And there's a lot of stereotypes on the road. These are hard working men out here making sure the supply chain is going to take place. Make sure that your food's on your table and that thing that you want, that thing that you're going to the store to get, that it's there. When I first started driving, I, I started doing flatbed and my trainer was like, there's a code out here. We have signals and we get on the radio and talk and help direct traffic and uh, you know, he said, he said, we're almost like the, the military of the civilians out here getting, making sure the supply is going through. And, you know, we, we drive under federal, federal law, federal rules and regulations. So we are, you know, considered, I would consider us a branch of the government. 1099 contractors, there's like hundreds of thousands, if not millions of companies out here on the road all bidding for that same broker, that same freight, out here risking their life every turn, every lane change, every car that passes in front of us, every car that's in a rush. There's a Cadillac of the road, peanut butter, 
peanut butter, peanut butter. <laughs> uh, Peter Bill. Talking about stereotypes, let's just say I got into an accident and uh, that's a $16,000 surgery, believe it or not. I have four implants. I just had this done in August for my birthday celebration. You know it's the lifestyle. There's our clubhouse right there. We go in. They got pool tables, showers, laundry, everything we need on the road. Basically, that's our house. That's what we come home to every night. When we come home, that's where we park, go and take a shower. Usually, it's a couple days, but we try to take a shower every day, every night, but it's just it's so hard to get in there. Okay guys, I think I'm out. Uh, next week is a Halloween video footage. I got me a cool little mask to wear and uh, I got costumes for these guys. Moose is gonna be a chicken and Dallas is gonna be a unicorn. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, just keep in mind when you're out there in traffic and you see a big old commercial vehicle, he's driving under federal law. And uh, he has the right of way. It says so in your DMV handbook. Yield the right of way to the larger vehicle. And uh, he's doing a service for you. He may not bring, bring something for you immediately, but that supply chain, you know, each and every load, each and every shipment of goods all add up to the entirety of you being able to go to your store, to Walmart, or go to a restaurant and get that food. So yeah, uh, don't end up like this person right here because uh, they got mad, blocked, we were blocking traffic, trying to clear up the mess, and uh, they went on the shoulder and got pulled over immediately. There was a police officer sitting in front of a truck and they saw the whole deal and they pulled him over. So uh, just keep that in mind. Have a good one. Yes, I'm on my second course, civil procedure. Chapter four, pleadings and motion practice. This has to do with the writing the complaint, the document that you're gonna sue somebody and the motions that go along with it. The subject is a monster. Yeah, so the other night I was able to get some dash cam footage of this guy. He uh, totally uh, went on the side of the road into the grass and cut through traffic and uh, they pulled him over and here it is. All right, see you guys next time. Okay, so uh, this car went ahead and passed on a left-hand shoulder in the grass. Little they didn't know there was a police officer hiding and pulled him over. Please subscribe, Wolf Dog Family. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.